Welcome, my name is Philip King. In this video, I will show you how to fix the HTTP 500 internal server error. If you have this error message on your site, don't panic. It's a common problem which we shall solve right here and now. The HTTP 500 internal server error is not, in fact, a WordPress specific error. It's a general server error that is related to the server settings your WordPress site is hosted on. Unfortunately, this is a generic error code. It doesn't really tell you anything useful, other than there is a problem somewhere on the server. To solve this problem, it helps to know a little about HTTP, servers, FTP, and a little knowledge on PHP coding would help. You don't have to be an expert at any of them, but a little knowledge can and will make life much easier. In this video, I will be using an FTP application called Fire FTP, a Firefox add-on. But of course you can use an FTP application of your choice. FileZilla maybe, or even your hosting provider's cPanel file editor if you wish. All are free. There are many server areas which could be causing the 500 internal server error problem on your WordPress site, but the most likely causes are corrupted core WordPress files, corrupted HT access file, PHP memory limits, WordPress plugins. Before you proceed with any of the possible solutions presented here, I suggest you view the complete video first. Some of the solutions described here are more complex than others so pick and choose to suit your school set. Also, back up your WordPress site before you make any changes. Better safe than sorry. OK, let's get started. This is solution number one to corrupt core WordPress files. If you can log into your WordPress admin, proceed as follows. This solution is nice and simple. It just replaces the WordPress core files with fresh versions. To reinstall WordPress, log in to the admin panel of your WordPress site and from the dashboard, select Updates. Then click the Reinstall Now button. Once the process is complete, you'll get a confirmation message thanking you for updating WordPress. Try browsing to your site to see if the solution solved the problem. If it did, then you know the problem was in the WordPress core folders. If solution 1 to corrupted core WordPress files did not work, then you can try the following. This solution is just a little more complicated to implement you need to replace the WordPress core folders with fresh versions of those folders. OK, let's do it. The first thing you need to do is download a copy of WordPress and extract to a temporary location. So from WordPress.org, download the WordPress files. With that done, we need to extract the files. In my case, that's the temp directory I created on the WordPress site. Right-clicking will allow me to extract the files. With the files extracted, we now need to rename our site WP Admin and WP Includes folders. So browse to our WordPress site, select the WP Admin, and WP Includes folders and rename them. Now we need to copy these folders from our Word Temp directory. and drop them into our WordPress site folder. 
With these folders replaced, you can now browse to your site to see if this solution solved the problem. If it solves the internal server error, then you know your problem was in the WordPress core folders. Investigate further if needed. OK, let's see how to fix a corrupted WordPress HD access file. Firstly, I'm going to show you what you will see should this file become corrupted. I'm going to be working with a locally hosted WordPress site. I strongly advise you not to do this on a live site for obvious reasons. I'm going to FTP over to the site and edit the HT access file. If you can't see the file, it's because the file is hidden. You will need to tell your FTP application to show hidden files. Opening the file will show the current entries. I am now going to deliberately corrupt the file by entering a load of rubbish. Save the file. If I go back to my WordPress site and refresh, I will find the site is down with the server error notification showing. Oh dear! Not to panic. All we have to do to correct the error is FTP back to the site and either rename or delete the HT access file. If you rename the file, you can study the file at a later date to discover the problem. Going back to our site and refreshing the screen, we will find the site has been restored with one important problem. The site permalink structure no longer exists. So, before doing anything else, we need to restore the permalink structure by logging into Admin and going to Dashboard, Settings, Permalinks, Save Permalinks. This will generate a new HT access file with proper rewrite rules to ensure that your posts and pages do not return a 404 error. If we look for our HT access file again, we should find it has been restored. Now it's up to you to edit the corrupt HT access file and see what caused the problem. Here's a clue. What were you changing before the problem arose? We will now discuss the solution to the PHP memory limit problem. Another common cause of the internal server error is exceeding the memory limit on your hosting account. You generally see the following message when you log in to WordPress admin. This is a very common WordPress error and easily fixed by increasing the PHP memory limit in WordPress. By default, WordPress automatically tries to increase the PHP memory limit if it is less than 64 megabytes. However, this is often not high enough. For this solution, you need to edit the wp-config-php file located in your WordPress site's root folder. So, using an FTP application or the file manager in your web hosting control panel, do the following. Open the wp-config-php file for editing. Find the line that looks like define WP memory limit followed by a number and increase this limit. For example, if the current limit is set to 64 megabytes, change that setting to 128 megabytes. The WP memory limit option allows you to specify the maximum amount of memory that can be consumed by PHP. If you could not find the above define, then paste this code in the wp-config-php file just before the line that says that's all, stop editing, happy blogging. This code tells WordPress to increase the PHP memory limit to 128 megabytes. With that complete, save the changes to your server. You can now browse your WordPress site to see if the WordPress error has disappeared.
If you are unable to increase the memory limit, then your web hosting service, in all probability, does not allow you to increase the PHP memory limit. You will need to contact your web hosting provider and ask them to increase the PHP memory limit for you. Many hosting providers set the PHP memory limit at 8 MB. If this solution did work, then you need to contact your web hosting provider support team and have them look at the server log to discover what is using all that memory. Has your WordPress site been hacked? Another common cause of the 500 internal server error is a corrupt WordPress plugin or reverse combination of plugins. Sadly, not all plugins play nicely together. Unfortunately, there is no easy way to find the culprit here. It's a case of deactivating all the WordPress plugins at once, then using trial and error to try and find the culprit. If your site has been running fine and installing a new plugin has caused the error, then save yourself some time and disable that plugin. If you think deactivating your plugins will adversely affect your site, you can always switch to WordPress maintenance mode first. Finding a rogue plugin is a little time consuming and very tedious especially if you use lots of plugins. The easiest way of deactivating all plugins is to FTP to your WordPress site's WP content folder and rename the plugins folder. Once this is done, browse to your site and see if disabling all plugins fixed the error. If disabling all the plugins fixed the error, then you know it's one or more of the plugins that's causing the error. FTP back to your site and restore the plugins folder name. One at a time until you find the one that's causing the error. Deactivate that plugin and report the issue to the plugins author. Well, I hope you like this video and found it helpful? If you did, click on the like button below and leave a comment. If you want to receive more helpful videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out the King Solutions website for more useful information. See you soon, and thanks again for taking the time to view this video.